Yeah. Hello, schoolmaster. Who's his name? Okay. Ichabod. Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Crane. Ichabod. What? Gotta download this song ASAP. spooky season that is October the month of October and on my channel I'm I've decided to fill it up with movie reactions but specifically movie reactions catering to the horror genre now this movie as you can tell by the title is a Disney movie it may not be as filled with as dark horror as the other movies I've been reacting to or that the other movies that have yet to appear on the channel but this movie does somewhat fit in that horror genre. It is a movie that came out before both of my parents was born, but it set the tone for what we grew up to know as the Disney classics, I feel like, because this was one of those movies that could be considered a classic before the actual Disney masterpieces came out. You know, the how on the VHS, the old Disney VHS, tapes they have the label Disney classic or Disney masterpiece one of one of the two but without further ado I'm excited to watch this movie I'm going into it as with all my other movie reactions completely blind I have never seen this I'm excited to watch I know that was kind of redundant I just said that but I'm excited to see I'm not about to say that a third time if you would like to see the full length reaction of this movie, click the link in the description below for the Patreon and there you will see all the movies I've reacted to full length and the ones I, that have yet to appear on the channel for full length, as well as early YouTube early access and all those other cool features. Now without further ado, let's just get into the reaction because why not? Walt Disney presents they should totally show this at, at a drive-in movie theater. The only place I know Bing Crosby from is the song, the Christmas song. Uh, I can't think of the title right now just because, which is weird. I listen to it every year. It's based on Sleepy Hollow and something else, I think. Oh, is it a heavy song-based movie? I would Don't like you to might say it was the one disturbing element. Though I'd probably be a little terrified of seeing that. A, fro a toad with clothes. Okay, this is for educational purposes. I like it. As usual, oh, Mo Mo is on CPT. <laughs> He's always late. He's definitely on CPT. What's going on? Well, the answer to that lay just around the bend at Toad Hall. Toad Hall? The ancestral home. Okay, so these animals are grand. Who's talking? Who's speaking right now? Is that Badger? Speaking? Lump post. Yeah, that's it. Who's knocking? Oh, the, that's someone else? Ooh, how did they all disappear that quickly? <laughs> Realistically, there's no way that could have happened. <laughs> Is he dying? Oh. Oh, he's just been... <laughs> I'm like, whoa! I wasn't prepared for this character death. He's rampaging across the city with... With the horse. Like and it's just horse things too. We have no time. What was the point of jumping? Is he really good? There was a bridge right next to it. Oh my goodness. Moles down. <laughs> reckless behavior. It's giving us I won't see fantasy. Well, I mean, his behavior is Menace pretty reckless. To society. Oh, what? <laughs> he really just called him a menace to society. I did not expect to hear that. They're going to rip his clothes. No, he's naked. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Kind of. Toad, don't. <laughs> don't do that, Toad. <laughs> Can y'all please take a normal path? What have I been missing? He's hypnotized. Yo! Y'all gotta lock him up. Lock the poor chap in his chambers and keep him there. Until the poison <laughs> break out of his system. 
I guess what a good friend would do. He gotta get that out of his system. Lock the doors, lock the windows. Toad, you should understand why we can't let you out. Should Mole be doing that? Yeah, I don't think Mole should be the one. Okay, okay. I feel like Mole's gonna cave. Get arrested. He stole. Toad, Toad, no. They tried to help you. We're not gonna wave at you, bro. Uh, well, obviously Mole is, because he's like that. Every group has, every group of friends has a mole. <laughs> not like that, though. No. Well, uh, then he was, to the best of your knowledge, with He's not giving us, he's not giving him time to answer. I love how the humans can just hear the animals in this universe. Oh, they're robbers! And the governor. Is he smelling the exhaust fumes? Yikes. The barman was back at the bar. Who's the owner of that, uh, hot-looking car? Horse, do you need to rhyme? What did, what did he trade for it? Whoa! He gave them Toad Hall? He looks so suspicious. <laughs> the way he just came. Nah, why did they wink like that? Toad, are you being dishonest? Oh, this is getting dark. This is unfair. At first I thought, you know what, Mr. Winky? I shouldn't have trusted you from the jump. It was your name. But I wanted to trust you, man. And now the weasels own Toad Hall, right? And Toad is in prison. Toad, I bet you really wish you'd just listen to your friends right now. Yes, a reformed Toad. Thank you. Self-control is a good thing, honestly. One whispered word and all his high resolve banished escape. It's like I don't support how it happened because I feel like now he's just going to fall back into not having any sort of discipline or self-control over the things he wants to do. Where are you going to go, Toad? And what happened to that that uh, weight he was shackled to? Well, oh, it's on his... Hey, aha! Never! How are they going to catch him? What did they get the other train from? <laughs> they really just said, <laughs> let's put another train out of thin air. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Synchronized attacks. I like it. They're all missing, though. How do they have so many bullets? <laughs> they should have been out a long time ago. I love the lack of realism right now. <laughs> How are you going to get that thing off of your leg? Sorry, Toad, but you owe a debt to society, and Brad. you've got to pay. He didn't do it, though. I think, I think Toad, I think Mr. Uh, Winkle was lying, right? Oh, it's Badger. Badger, why did you sound like that? <laughs> His voice sounds completely different right now. Look at you, rat. I bet you feel real stupid. Yeah, you did. You misjudged him. Really, really bad. That's why nobody has been there, because weasels are patrolling the bridge, okay? Oh, stop to Toad! Toad, are you- Yeah, Toad, man. He has no stealth whatsoever. Terrible. I would not want to be on any type of reconnaissance missions with this guy. No better feeling than taking the rug from underneath. Oh no. What if they drop mold because that other weasel's back there? Why am I asking? Mo, what are you doing? Why didn't you leave your hat up there, Mo? Mo, you have to hurry. Grab the deed. There you go. Okay. Get it quickly. He's got it! He's got it! Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my goodness, he's gonna shoot. Oh, yep, yeah, you gotta help him, Rat. Everybody's gotta help. What is this? They wanna be the three stooges so bad. Broly, over here. He's dead. Oh. Oh. I thought it was gonna burn up. <laughs> I've never seen like this sort of like action before. Where people are just chasing around a piece of paper across an entire home. This is intense. Nice. 
Nice, gotta throw out the decoys. Okay, Mr. Winkle. Wink Winkle? I think. Find the door. Mole's not out. They made it. Who has the paper? Who has the paper? Tell me some one of you four has got it. Which one? And so it was a happy ending after all. I've always been drinking. To the new toad. Toad. What did you do to get that, Toad? Yes, sir. Respect, respect, respect. I like Toad's character, man. He just kind of goes with the flow. It's kind of annoying at times, but I like it. Oh, this one must be Ichabod. Oh, he had a way with the yarn, did Mr. Irving. Does anyone still name their children Ichabod? I don't think so. I think that name's long out of fashion. Imagine if they don't show its face. Okay, never mind. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow doesn't sound like the place to be. I guess he'll be doing some saving during this uh, little story. Perhaps. Who's that coming down the street? Are they hey. shovels or are they feet? Okay. It's like so beautiful, so jazzy, so simple, so smooth. <laughs> Ichabod Crane. I didn't like, I just predicted how the melody would go. I didn't really know it. I was just predicting. Beautiful song. This reminds me of Old Yeller with how people within the same towns, within the same like small towns would just go over each other's houses for dinner uninvited and it'd just be okay. <laughs> Ichabod seems like such a nice guy in comparison to Mr. Toad or in contrast. Okay. He's changing the way of life here. He's changing the culture here. Don't do that, ladies. <laughs> that wasn't him. <laughs> I was hoping they would react. <laughs> Brom, what are you? Some sort of jock in the neighborhood? What's going on here? I could go for a... Is that Cinderella? Hold up. Is this, what kind of crossover is this? No, we'll kiss and run. We'll kiss and run. Romance is fun. Always another one. Katrina, you've lost your heart. Woo! Well, we can end right there and I'd be satisfied. <laughs> that song was amazing. They had to have won some for this music. I can understand what it's like thinking about huh, a woman that you love, but not necessarily what it's like thinking about her parents making you money. That's kind of messed up. Does she even know you? Oh, yes, Katrina, you won me. I... Why are you not teaching your students, sir? Which one will she go for? Ichabod. Okay. Oh, no. There's no way she's okay with that. Oh, she's for the streets. She belongs to the streets. And no way you're okay with that, Ichabod? Okay, well, maybe you can get her back. Oh, he's really fast. Extraordinarily fast. He caught up to a horse on foot. She's so wishy-washy. I love her song, but... <laughs> <laughs> you really just made yourself look stupid. <laughs> Brom, you're not you're not a romance guy. You're more just a strong guy meant for lifting things. And I'm only saying this based off of what you presented to us in this movie. Yeah, I hope you felt every piece of that, Brom. You need to know how to treat a woman. Because you clearly don't. Ichabod does. Why don't you learn a thing or two? He's so smooth. So smooth. It's Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> this top half looks like Wreck-It Ralph. A lucky horseshoe, and it is not Brahms' lucky day. <laughs> What's going on with that mirror, Ichabod? That mirror's looking kind of jacked up. Did he just put chalk on his chin? Don't tell me that was a thing people did in the 1940s. 
Nice. Impressive. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Took a took a whole slice of cake and ate it, but alright. <laughs> Brahm, it's over for you. Yeah, go for someone else. She's interested. Oh, but you don't like her. Okay, well, forget you too, Brahm. You focus on you, sis. He's gonna switch partners. He's such... Brahm, you don't know how to lose, do you? And why was Katrina okay with that? Yeah, bye, dude. We don't need you. Nah, Brahm, stay over there. Stay on that side of the room. Now, we're gonna go over here. Stop chasing us around, Brahm. Stop chasing us, Brahm. Don't live your life, Brahm. <laughs> Imagine if she throws Brahm over there. <laughs> <laughs> They're dancing on top of where he was. And Brown knew there was no more firm, potent believer in spooks and goblins than Ichabod Crane. Oh no. It's really guys like this, man, that just that prey on your woman, or vice versa. It's like people out there that just really desire your significant other. And they're so persistent. Even when they shouldn't be. Like it's just unhealthy. Okay, Brom, I don't like you, but this song. With English glee, ghosts are bad, but the one that's cursed is the headless horseman. He's the worst. The headless horseman. Mmm! This is so good! Every song in this is a vibe. She's out looking for a cotton chop, so don't stop and make her out of play. Okay, the lyrics are getting kind of scary, though. Beautiful song. Good very haunting feeling it just left me i feel a jump scare coming i'm gonna sit back so i'm not too close to the screen everything's gonna be all right ichabod hopefully just uh smooth sailing from here i don't think anything's gonna pop out because the horse is complete oh wait honestly like if i gotta ride somewhere this creepy on a horse alone in the middle of the night, I'm there. I'm finding any other path. Horse, what's going on? Hold on, what? What's making that noise? <laughs> that horse's laugh is kind of creepy. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Uh, he's chasing us. <gasps> horse, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do not stop. Wait, wait, he's in front, he's in front now. Uh, uh, wait, uh, people? Oh my goodness. Turn around! Yeah! <laughs> That's honestly so evil and so dark and so scary and everything. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Doesn't, does Brom have a black horse though? Is he dead? By the headless horse. Yeah! It was wrong. No way. No way. That's not how it ends. Me too. Me too. I'm getting out of here. I thought it was Brahm. You said it was actually and those horsemen. Okay. Uh, reaction's over. Uh, we're done. Uh, yeah. Demons be gone. Demons be gone. I need. I need to start praying ASAP. I need to start praying right now. Like. At the end of this reaction, just get down on my knees. <sighs> Cause man, that was, that was crazy. I mean, the, the Mr. Toad thing, uh, hold on, let me stop, let me stop the recording. The Mr. Toad story, that was so lighthearted, but it got me prepared for the dark story of Ichabod. Ichabod Crane. Wow. That was, it was just, first off, Toad, he needed to keep that, that part of himself under control. He couldn't. There is something in my eye. Ugh. He needed to, he needed to keep that part of himself under control. He couldn't. And because of it, he ended up going to prison he was incarcerated uh you know he it turns out he was telling the truth at first i thought he was lying because of how he winked at that other guy at uh mr is 
I think it's Mr. Winkle, but you guys let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong. I I saw him wink, and I was like, whoa, what's that wink about? They got some, some suspicious going on? But it was actually the guy who winked back. He was planning on betraying him all along because he wanted... He wanted told told Hall. Well, did he need to betray him to get what he wanted? Because if he he was still gonna get told Hall regardless. So whether or not Mr. Toad was incarcerated or not, or whether or not Mr. Toad was incarcerated, he he would have gotten what he wanted. Why did he betray him? Probably just because he likes creating chaos or you know, wreaking havoc on people's lives, probably something like that. He's just a villain. <laughs> He's a villain. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. As for Brom, though, I feel like part of me feels like Brom was the headless horseman. Just because they were kind of wearing similar outfits. Like the headless horseman and then what Brom wore in that last scene that Brom was in, you know, after we never saw Ichabod again. It looked like the exact same outfit or a very, very similar outfit. And so I thought, you know, those two people were the same, the headless horseman. I thought that was really just Brahm's way of stealing away Katrina because it was very obvious Katrina was kind of for the streets. You know, she was just anybody. Well, she was, she wasn't, I wouldn't say she was for the streets, like, because she was single. And can you really be for the streets if you're single? No, I I don't think so. Unless you're entertaining like tens of hundreds of people, then maybe. But if you're just deciding between two different people, I don't think you're for the streets. I'm gonna I'm take that back. I don't think she was for the streets. She was just, you know, trying to decide which man she preferred to be with, you know, and part of me feels like uh, I'm not going to continue saying that I'm just trying to I'm just trying to not be so scared <laughs> because that's all ahead of this horseman and he was very intimidating very intimidating I I can't this isn't a movie maybe it is a movie for kids all right <laughs> I, I all I know is that was a very a very dark version of the headless horseman I've never seen uh headless horseman I think I might have read about it in a Goosebumps book. That was uh that was Attack of Attack of the Jack o' Lantern or something like that. Something involving Halloween. But I I want so bad for Brom and the Headless Horseman to be the same thing just because I don't want to admit to myself that there is an actual headless horseman going around killing people. <laughs> I'd much rather it be something more real, such as a man pretending to be a headless horseman to steal away the girl that he couldn't get. But if it's an actual headless horseman, hats off, Disney, for that for that uh scene, for the for the chase, for the headless horseman chase like that. That scene was intense. I was on the edge of my seat at times, and sometimes I would pull back just because I was so you know, a little terrified, to say the least, a little terrified. <laughs> yeah, overall, just a really great couple stories, you know. I thought this was going to be just one whole little movie, but it was it was two separate stories that were completely, entirely unrelated, but still very, very entertaining, and I really appreciated what they provided for me, entertainment, and a lot of it. Hats off to you, Disney. It's back in the 40s. Now, which one Which one was Bing Crosby, though? Was he... Was he Mr. Toad? Or was he like Brom or Ichabod? Ichabod could sing. Well, so could Brom. So he was probably one of them. He was probably one of them. My money's on Ichabod, but it, it might have been Brom. Nah, he's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Great, 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 great couple stories. At the beginning, they said this was based off uh, Sleepy Hollow and something else that I quickly glanced at, but I, I can't seem to remember right now. 
But it, as they were explaining it throughout the throughout the film, it was it was uh, it was very clear that it was based off a couple of different books, and I really, I really, I really enjoyed that because I I don't think I've ever read, you know, uh, Sleepy Hollow or the other book Mister Toad was based off of, so it was great to see this in a movie, in an animated movie, but a movie regardless, and a great one. It was short. It was only like an hour. I think it was only about an hour long. So it was very short, but it was worth it and perfect, in my opinion. But that's going to be the end of the reaction for me, guys. Catch you guys in the next reaction. If you guys want to request another movie, feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. You know, whether it's an old movie like The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Crane, or whether it's a new movie. You know, it doesn't have to be Disney. It could be Disney because there are a lot of Disney movies I have not seen to this day. So let me know what you guys want me to do. And hopefully, if he gets enough likes, I'll get to it as quickly as possible. But without further ado, I got to get into the next reaction. So see y'all in the next reaction. Uh, that next movie should be coming out very soon. And it will be. Who was I planning on reacting to? Hmm. Ah, the first movie in the Conjuring franchise. You may not know right where you're going, but I do. I do, I do, I do. You may not know right where you're going.